Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your March Spirit Messages. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Spirit Messages are normally directly channeled for you, but because I've got my heater on and I also have a windstorm happening outside my house, um, my voice changes, the volume changes, the energy changes, and I didn't want it to interfere with what's happening. So we're just gonna go ahead with uh, the traditional reading uh, of spirit messages. And I've asked Source to please provide me, are you meditating? Just like, yes. To please provide me with any information that um, you may require, and that if something needs to be channeled directly, that I will receive the direct download. The great gathering is all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. Take a break, life works, not a season, get off the treadmill. Dance, do something to shift your vibration. Mirror who or what is triggering you. And yes, just say yes. All right. I'm trying to see if there's a crystal that's calling on to me. The moon, the great gathering, it's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. You, no, 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 please, thank you. You might actually be, um, be receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of information right now. You might also be experiencing a lot of energy coming through, and you're not really sure why, like the who, where, what, when, why. Okay, this is just the cards. They're not your enemy. Thank you. Um, I just want you to know that um, there's no need to be afraid of any of the downloads you're receiving, the spirit messages, um, if you're getting a lot of dreams, if you're visioning a lot. Yeah, this is all about your growth. This is actually a very, very powerful reading indeed. Listen, if you've been working really hard around your money, um, around your finances, um, it's okay to take a break from it. It's okay to kind of like give yourself a little bit of introspection, self-reflection. This moon keeps calling to me. It's like work with the cycles of the moon. Okay, when the moon is waning, it's going away. When the moon is waxing, it's opening up. Okay, wax on, wane off, okay? Um, when we are in the full moon, it's a time of illumination, a time of completion, a type of reaping the rewards, and a type of letting go. When we're in the dark moon, we're planting the seeds, or the new moon, we're planting the seeds, we're uh, banishing and protecting, and we're also experiencing the darkness of the unknown. This is about literally everything coming together in your life. If you work together alongside the moon, you may actually feel a little bit more comfortable and more at ease with your current experience. Take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill with the eight of pentacles. Okay, if you've been working super hard around your finances and your career, it's a super important message here for you to just bring it down a notch. Understand that the money will be yours, understand that the success will be yours, understand that you're going to be just fine for finances, but you also need to take a break and respect your body, respect what it's asking of you. Dance, do something to shift your vibration and divine wisdom. I've been reading this card so much today, I almost get this energy of so many people really stepping into their power from such a very beautiful, powerful place. Let me read to you. So dance is all about doing something to shift your vibration. So if you're feeling stagnant, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling lethargic, if you're feeling like things aren't progressing in the way that you need to, shift. If you've been working really hard, take a day off. Rest, relax, and see what happens if you take a day off. Will there be more things that will come your way that will fuel you and empower you? Sleep, okay? Divine wisdom. The goddess Isis stands within a rose garden beneath an ancient catechist and the cosmic orifice egg, each a symbol of unity with our celestial origins to the divine. Isis is the eternal goddess and a great magician and a timeless expression of the divine feminine. She encourages all to participate and activate and reclaim our sovereignty and our power and help us awaken our individual and collective healing. That's what you're doing right now. Sagittarius, you've been, you've been, you've been making this happen, whether you see it 
or not um, physically you, you've been making this happen okay and so if you're feeling stuck right now or you're, or you're feeling like you're not moving enough okay take a break and know that maybe you just need to shift in perspective for things to fall through and for things to work out yes just say yes and the four of pentacles don't be afraid to speak your truth anymore aquamarine speak your truth heal your throat chakra do not be afraid anymore of being persecuted of being ridiculed of being oppressed those things will not happen to you the more that you speak your truth because you will be in alignment with your highest self so if anybody tries to block you from speaking what needs to be said you will be blocked you you won't be blocked they will be blocked you will be able to speak with clarity. This choking here around your neck, feeling like you're not allowed to say the truth, that, that's not going to happen. Spirit is saying, yes, speak your truth. Do not be blocked anymore. Okay, aquamarine. What a beautiful healing crystal. Great for healers, teachers, mystics, spiritual people. And then you got hair font, mirror. Who or what is triggering you? The Hierophant is all about higher learning, uh, whether it's spirituality, coaching, uh, reading, school, getting a therapist, a life coach, any of that energy that will help you to see things from a different perspective, okay? This is also like, look at the blue in this imagery. So important. Did he? Did he? Okay, so important, all right? Who or what is triggering you? Look at the third eye as well. Like, ugh, I just, it's so much of like being able to speak your truth that comes from this higher knowing. Look at the, the third eye, where, it, where it's at. It almost looks like it's kind of like between the throat and the heart chakra. If you're finding that you're being triggered by people, that's part of your learning. If you're, if you're finding at this current time that some people are like getting under your nerves or bothering you, that is all part of your evolution, your growth, and your expansion. All right? This is all a journey towards your highest self. This is the great awakening. This is you stepping into your divine feminine power. Are you ready? I feel like you are. All right, Sagittarius, if you're interested in a private reading, either live or pre-recorded, take a look at the description box below to book a reading with me. If you'd like to purchase over my uh, uh, Starcy Jewels, my jewelry line, get your modern day amulets. These are some of the pieces I'm wearing. Right here is a new piece. You got to sign up to the mailing list for this. This is um, uh, Priestess. It's High Priestess's sister, Venus for love, and Bastet and Malojo. There's a ton more options there, whether you're masculine, feminine, they, them. All right. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. But most importantly, thank you for being you. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.